All right, welcome back. We are on level seven of lesson 15. It is an assessment level. So while I will not work it out with you, I will read the directions. I will look at the rubric, see if we can see some tips or tricks going on. Um, and then I'm going to let you get to it because, you know, what good would an assessment be if I gave you the answer? Um, so magic dinosaur, use an if statement to make the dinosaur turn into a pterodactyl when it reaches the sky. Do this, run the code to see how it works. Add a conditional that detects when the dinosaur is in the sky. Set the sprite's animation to a pterodactyl when it reaches the sky. All right. So I am going to say our animation tab. So we have our Tyrannosaurus. We have our pterodactyl. We have our background. Um, so all of that's already set up for you. Uh, make sure you're reading the comments. The comments are very helpful. And let's go check out the rubric and see. So no evidence means you're not getting a grade. Uh, there are no conditionals in the draw loop. So you need to have a conditional in order to get a grade of any kind. Um, limited evidence, there is a conditional in the draw loop that checks the value of a Boolean expression. So there's something there that's gonna check it. Um, so convincing evidence, there's a conditional in the draw loop that checks whether the sprite has reached the sky. All right, and then we'll get to the A, the 100, the good job is extensive evidence. So the sprite's image changes from a T-Rex to a pterodactyl when the sprite reaches the sky. So this is what you're aiming for. Um, if I run it, this is what we see right now. So when the dinosaur reaches the sky, it should turn into a pterodactyl. All right, uh, with that, good luck, and uh, I'll see you on the uh, other side.